I have bad news and I have good news. The bad news is that I'm not going to school today. The good news is that I'm making bacon. I am really good at underestimating how long it takes me to do things. All of the stuff for work that I was meant to do over the weekend didn't get done. And if I don't do my stuff for work, I'm gonna get fired. And if I get fired, I can't pay for school. So I have to do my work stuff. This is day six of my low carb adventure. I still haven't given in. Oh no. I just realized that the next time I'm gonna be in Toronto, I'll still be on this low carb thing, which means I can't go to Holy Chuck and have the full Holy Chuck experience. What the F? I really didn't think this through. This is the worst. <laughs> I'm really bummed out now because I said I was gonna try the calorie next time I was there. I guess not the next time, but the time after that, I will try the calorie. I think that's gonna be March 28th is when I'm going to Toronto next. I think today is the day to answer one of the burning questions that you guys have had over the last few weeks. And that is, what happened to Dan and who is Logan? For a number of reasons, it just didn't work out with Dan. And it's not that he's like a bad person or whatever, but it just ended up not being the right fit. And part of that had to do with the fact that he had no experience in the YouTube community. He had experience in film and video production, but not as a part of this community. And given how much time I spend at school or working on homework or uh, working on Crash Course or SciShow or whatever else, I just didn't have enough time to properly train him in in understanding how 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 daily vlogs work, how YouTube works, how uh, Twitter and Tumblr fit into those communities and all this stuff. So a lot of things that I just find very intuitive when it comes to making online video content, he didn't. And that's not his fault, he just didn't have experience with it, and I unfortunately didn't have the time to help him understand that. So there's no bad blood there, it just didn't work out. Logan, some of you may know from the Minecraft server, he goes by Howie over there. He made a guest appearance in a vlog when I was in Nashville last year. But anyway, he's the new assistant editor. He's been watching these videos as a member of this community for a while, so there's no lack of understanding of how all of this works here. And he's already very familiar with what a what I'm doing right now video feels like. Logan is also considering transferring to the University of Montana, so even though right now he lives in Tennessee, he may be local in short order. So that's Logan George. His name is actually Howard Logan George IV, but he goes by Logan. Welcome to another exciting episode of It's Dark in My Room. A few people from the audience, I guess, from this community of people who watches my stuff, have reached out to me recently asking if there are ways in which uh, the community can come together and do things, and I unfortunately don't really have the brain power to brainstorm anything really cool at the moment. So I'm just gonna throw this out to everybody and say, uh, if you have any ideas about things that we as a group, as a community, can do to either just have fun or uh, make the world a better place, or both, then put something out in the comments. I'm hoping that once summer comes around and I don't have to worry about school for a few months, uh, I can tackle a few really cool projects that I just don't have time for yet. So if you guys can help me out with just the brainstorming process before summer comes around, that would be quite helpful. I'm having kind of a hard time talking right now because I just ate a really spicy pepper and my mouth is all, like, watery. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.